Reading Rate and Fluency with Corduroy. In this video, we will take a deeper look at reading rate and fluency and how to provide opportunities for your child to develop these two interconnected skills through the consistent practice of listening to books read aloud to him or her. Before I begin reading, imagine your grandmother is reading aloud to you. Her warm, familiar voice flows from one word to the next into a sentence stream that carries you along, not too fast and not too slow. Excerpt from Corduroy by Don Friedman. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Now back to Grandma. Her tone becomes curious as the stuffed bear wonders if he is on a mountain while riding the escalator. And then her tone shifts, growing excited when he happens upon the palace of furniture. Was it her voice you heard in your head during elementary school while you stumbled through those treacherous sentences when you were learning to read? Reading fluency includes four parts, accuracy, speed, expression, and comprehension. Reading aloud to your child or grandchild models each piece of fluency so that one day he or she can work towards similar fluent reading on his or her own. Setting an example of fluid fluency and pacing your sentences with relative speed enables a child to hear what well-read passages sound like. This gives a child a sense of what his or her future reading should sound like. Using expression and even funny or dramatic voices for dialogue when reading aloud to your child will teach fluency. Children love listening to expressive readers and often copy the tone and energy of experienced readers when they pretend to read through the pictures on the pages. Books like Corduroy with dialogue that utilize a range of pitch and feeling are wonderful tools to promote fluency. Listening to audiobooks read aloud also models reading fluency and rate for pre-readers to learn from and imitate. Fluency teaches and motivates young students in the process of sounding out unfamiliar words. Esca, the child tries. Keep going, the mother prods. Escalite, late, later, the child huffs. That's right. Now put it together, the mother encourages. Escalator, the child resounds with triumph. Yes, yes, now read the sentence again. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. The child reads with confidence. Often young students cannot hear themselves read at a steady pace until after much practice. Sounding out words, ignoring punctuation, and stumbling across unfamiliar words and other mishaps occur regularly when beginning to read. Choppy words and stunted rates often discourage a young reader. But after years of listening to fluent reading as a preschooler, these readers have the benefit of hearing what sentences should sound like in their heads and will work to achieve this on their own with more ease. To learn more, visit slowandsteadygetmeReadyForKindergarten.com.